This is a noisy rig, guys. We've got the water and pipes there. And obviously this is the drilling rig here where all the magic happens. And the well is obviously going to be right at the bottom where they're going to start the drilling right there. Hey everyone, I hope you're well. I do not know a lot about the technical aspects of drilling, well drilling, but I'll try to share with you what I learned the day that the crew showed up to put in my well. The first 10 to 20 feet is not just what I call drilling, but also a hammering function, which you see right here. Pipes come in 20 foot lengths, they're stored on this other truck and they bring them over when they need them. This well required 10 of these pipes, so we're talking around 200 feet. It took the crew about 4 to 5 hours to complete the work. Drill down approximately 200 feet, line the hole, and then obviously cap it. What they're doing here is they're removing some of the slurry that's coming up from the hole as they're drilling down. The water that you see here is from their water truck. This is not water coming out of the well at this point or coming from the aquifer down below. And here's an example of how good these guys were. He walks over here to tell me what's going on. Unfortunately, the truck is so loud that you can't hear anything that he says to me here. Here's some time-lapse footage to give you an idea about the process, loading in these additional 20-foot lengths of pipe and or drill bits. I'm not sure which is which, but that's happening at the same time. And you can see how the machine itself drills down once you've got that additional 20-foot length in there to keep the process moving. But you can see, given that this is time-lapse, how this will take four to five hours to get down 200 feet in bedrock. This is rock all the way down. I'm going to show you a drill report at the end of the video here to give you an idea of what material they went through to get to the water. But there's no sand, there's no clay, there's no soft materials. This is all bedrock all the way down. And again, you can see them bringing in these additional 20-foot lengths, get them ready, and then put them in place to go down an additional 20 feet each time they load one of those in there. It's time to pay attention. They're just about to hit the water. You're going to see something happen right here. You see all that brown water shoot out? And then all that additional water right there? That's when they hit the water. Let's slow that down and have a look at it in slow-mo. There appears to be an initial burst of dirty water. That makes sense. Blasting up, clearing more dirt out of the way. It stops. He adjusts the equipment and then boom, a big flow of water coming out. With the flow of water, the little berm gets breached here and he jumps to it, fixes it to keep that flow going out into the field there. No dramatic 40-foot gusher skywards like you see in some of the Hollywood movies, but a nice gush of clear water. It's actually clear water, even though there's a lot of slurry in there, but it's fresh clear water coming up now. 
They went down an additional 20 feet past the point where they actually hit the water. I'm not 100% sure why they do that, but obviously they want to be the, below the point where they hit the water, probably due to pressure and a continual flow issue. Here, one of the gentlemen leaves, goes to get me because I'm up at the shop at this time, and then I come down to see that they've hit the water now. I left my camera in place, but I was up in the shop doing some stuff. They now begin the process of removing the drill equipment from the well and obviously capping the well itself. If you live in Eastern Ontario and you need a well, I would definitely give Splash Well Drilling. Again, they're out of Prescott, Ontario. I'd give them a call. They have the equipment. They know what they're doing. They enjoy what they're doing. And that's what came across to me. And they do a very good job. So again, I give them a uh, big thumbs up. Later the same day, their test truck rolled in. They've got to do a well record test to be able to sign off and send the information to the ministry in Ontario concerning flow rate and quality of the water. So they lowered in a pump, fired up their motors, and started to bring water out of the well. They ran their test, I believe, for an hour. You can see it here on the sheet that I'm about to show you. And they, I believe, averaged 20 gallons a minute through that hour testing process. So this is a very strong well with a great flow rate, 20 gallons a minute, better than we expected. The well report here in the circle is the material that they drilled through. There was four feet of clay at the top, but the majority of this is limestone and sandstone. Two things to highlight in this circle. They set their pump at 190 feet for the test, the test that lasted an hour. And as you can see, the pump rate, the pumping rate during the test was 20 gallons a minute for the entire hour. Didn't waver. Fantastic well. Thanks for watching and sticking through to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you at the next video, everyone. Take care.